intro music. That was from my son Chase uh, using his acoustic guitar and his new Ditto repeater. So uh, if you like that intro song there, what I may do is upload just the whole song. It's kind of relaxing, and so if you were uh, programming or doing something monotonous, perhaps that'd be a good song for you to chill out to. Hey, today we've got a look at Revenge OS, and for most of you who follow the channel, you know I'm a big fan of Jody James' work. He started out with OB Revenge, kind of reminded me of Arch Labs, or vice versa, Arch Labs reminded me of OB Revenge in that uh, using the open box desktop, it's based off of Arch, very flexible, very fast. Well, Jody has continued to work on his operating system and now shared, you know, of course, all of the updates with us. And today we've got Revenge OS. So over time, what had happened is Jody continued to work on OB Revenge, and then he introduced desktops. Uh, so there were options there for various desktops. Well, now when you go to install Revenge OS, what you get, and I'm going to pop over here to about, uh, and I'll put a link here to the Revenge OS website, what you get are six different desktop options. Um, so you've got OpenBox, Mate, Plasma, GNOME, and XFCE, as well as i3. What I've got running here, I went ahead and loaded up XFCE because I've been running XFCE on Linux Mint now for, gosh, well over a month and a half and have just kind of gotten into XFCE. But what I want to do for sure is give Plasma a try because Jody shared a screenshot of his Plasma setup and it looked great. So now I've got to try that and maybe I'll do a quick video just kind of showing that off as well. All right, so again, talked about uh, kind of the history of OB Revenge, now Revenge OS, Arch-based distro, very fast, very light. I think what Jody has gone after here, and, and it works, is that he wants kind of a, you know, an operating system that maybe, you know, someone like his wife or his brother or someone like that, If he, I don't know if he's got a brother, but if you've got a brother, Jody, uh, that, that his brother could... Uh, load up and kind of just use, you know. He's got enough in place there, but he's not trying to cram everything down your throat or say, hey, you know, I'm going to put, you know, five different versions of this software on here for you, even though they all do kind of the same thing. He's leaving you some flexibility there, and I like that part too. Uh, you'll see the nice welcome screen when you boot in for the first time, and there's several things here, and I'm going to bounce around some just because there's kind of a lot to talk about, really. Um, Really nice welcome screen. You know, if you're setting up VirtualBox, you've got VirtualBox modules. One click here. Uh, jump over to the G Plus community, which we looked at here. Um, I've got this actually bookmarked. And this is a great place to go. Uh, if you've got questions or anything, you may find that someone's already asked that here because Jody's pretty active uh, with this, so you might find that part helpful. Um, also, uh, if you have an NVIDIA card, an NVIDIA graphics card, one click access to NVIDIA drivers, one quick click to update the system. Then we're going to talk about here the software installation tool, report issues, and then you can jump right over into the form. So very nice job on the welcome screen. Uh, let's jump over here to one of my favorite parts of this. Um, if you've ever run Ubuntu Mate, you're going to be familiar with the software boutique. I love the concept, love the idea behind it. While this is not as full-fledged, meaning with as large a selection of software, it works just as easy, and, and I love the concept. Because all you got to do is go in. You've got three main categories here, Internet, Media, and Office. You just simply go in, select the software in that category that you want to install, then come down here you, after you've selected everything, and then bam, one click install, sit back, everything installs, it's fast, it's fluid, it does what it's supposed to do, and convenient, so I absolutely love that. You've got a pretty big selection here under internet, which, you know, no surprises there. And if you go to media, a uh, very nice selection there, everything from VLC, Spotify, Audacity, uh, Caden Live is there, uh, OBS Studio, so on and so forth, so pretty good selection there. Kind of slim pickings here in office, but uh, hey, that's okay. Um, Again, just real quick and easy to use. So love the Revenge OS software installation tool. Speaking of tools, there's lots of other tools here. Let's go into, let me find my way around. Um, so let's go over to Revenge OS tools. All nice, uh, nicely packaged here in one window. So from here, you've got a Codex installer. 
flash installer, kernel manager, bootload configuration, again the NVIDIA drivers, and again the VirtualBox drivers. Codex installer, one click, flash installer, one click. Uh, so nice to have all of this. And I love just the, the artwork here. I mean, this, I think I watched a video where someone said um, it looked like kind of like a video game or reminded them of video game, the, the theming and everything. And it kind of does. For whatever reason, the first time I saw this, I thought of the, uh, the game Hitman, you know, with the scope and everything. Anyway, it's very cool. It's got a nice, clean look to it. And everything is all dark, but you've got enough splash of color here. And we'll talk about the icon set here, Surfing, which I wasn't uh, familiar with, but it just it all looks great. So nice job there. All right, let's move on over here, and I want to make sure I don't miss anything, so I'm just going to kind of scroll. Oh, I wanted to talk about this. So I went with the XFCE desktop, and <clears throat> so within Interagos, you have an installer uh, that allows you, much like the Nemesis installer that we have here in, o uh, uh, I keep wanting to say OB Revenge, in Revenge OS, you have the Nemesis installer, which gives you options for the various desktops. In Interagos, which is another Arch uh, distribution, you also have options for a desktop, and XFCE is one of those options. But I messaged back to Jody, uh, you know, as I was just saying, hey man, I'm loving what I'm seeing here. I messaged back to him that what I appreciate about his version of XFCE is for me, personally, it's complete in that the Whisker menu is in place, and Jody has laid out the Whisker menu almost exactly the way I set up the whisker menu <clears throat> excuse me so the whisker menu is incredibly flexible you know you, you can switch this thing around to where the categories instead of being on the left or on the right um, but this setup it's like bam jody was reading my mind so i love this compared to the interagos um or antragos i keep messing that up i should have i should have that figured out by now um antragos interagos no it's interagos Anyway, uh, you go into their XFCE desktop, you load that up, and it's kind of bare bones. You've got to go in and, and set up the Whisker menu and other things. So I was really pleasantly surprised to see how well XFCE is set up within Revenge OS. So good job there. I'm going to go back. We'll kind of go through all, and I'm going to pull down this Whisker menu, one of the flexible things about it. And we'll just kind of... Start at the top here, and I'm not going to hit everything, but you'll see I've installed Adobe Flash. Uh, if we go into Appearance, let's just quickly go into that. Um, so we've got the uh, the dark theme and everything under Style here, and this is your standard XFCE appearance settings. Um, so you've got Edweda Dark, and then the icons. Again, these were new to me. Surfing Vertex. So I like that surfing with just an N, S-U-R-F-N. Uh, you've got the gray and everything, but just these look great. But you also see another nice selection here. One of my favorites, Vibrancy, um, is, is set up. And Vibrancy is just a very high-end, polished selection of icons. So nice job there. Let's scroll up. You've got Numix, very popular as well. And then you've got Breeze in place. Um, and I think more than likely the reason that is there is because if you install... Caden Live, it's going to require the Breeze icon set. Uh, so, very nice. Like I said, out of the box, everything looks really good. The fonts are crisp. Uh, just job well done there. All right, I'm going to go back. Go back to all. Uh, Adobe Flash installed, application finder. Uh, I set up Audacious and Audacity because that was one click install. Chromium was, uh, I believe that was the default. Uh, web browser. Uh, Firefox was not in place, so I was perfectly fine with that. I installed Google Chrome just as I was clicking through, so um, all right, we'll keep moving here. LibreOffice was set up by default, I do believe. And let's see here, anything else that's going to stand out? Uh, screenshot tool was in place. The Revenge OS software, we talked about that. Uh, again, one-click act or one-click install really for a simple screen recorder. Uh, I installed VLC Media Player. You've got a window configuration manager for window tweaks, and then XF Burn was installed. So 
while it had a good balance, it wasn't bloated with you know software that maybe you've never heard of or redundant software where you know you'd see sometimes you'll see uh, for example three web browsers installed on a distro for whatever reason. So um, so nicely done there. Uh, right click menu by default you could scroll down and still have the application list anywhere with right click. And if you've spent any time with OpenBox, that really grows on you. Uh, you know, here it's not right click and then bam, there's the list. You know, here within XFCE, it's right click and you've got several choices here to make, but one of those is the application list. And as you, again, as you get used to that, it's, it's really nice. Um, so far, this has been, you know, blazingly fast. I've had two or three updates, not major updates, fairly quick updates. And just running great, running great. And I'll tell you, uh, just bouncing back and forth between um, Arch Labs and Revenge OS. Yes, I've been running Linux Mint for some time. I've been very busy and just haven't really wanted to take the time to switch over on my main. But I got to tell you, I'm more than likely going to be settling in on an Arch distro just, just for ease of use. And it just seems to run well on my system. Well, let's talk about software for just a minute here. Uh, we're going to go back into system, add remove software. And this is what you'll see in a lot of Arch-based distributions. This gives you access to the Arch user repository. Now within Revenge OS, you do need to go in and click on preferences. We'll go ahead and put in our password. And you'll want to toggle on the AUR, which will, if you're not familiar with that, again, this really opens up your access to um, a big abundance of software. So you'll want to turn that on within Revenge OS. It's not on by default. All right, let's talk about kind of the looks department a little more here. Uh, we're going to go into the file manager. And this is Thunar, basically what you would expect if you, uh, you know, if you run XFCE. And at first, I, at first glance, I looked at these icons, part of this theme here, and I thought, man, these are white, kind of grayish white icons. And I was like, ah, I'm not sure. But the more you use it, the more it, it just fits with everything else because you've got this light gray tint up here, you know, in the top panel of the window, and it matches here. And I just, it's, it's really, really well done. And speaking of well done, let's go back in and go to desktop settings. And my man, Carl Snyder, if this isn't your artwork, um, you know, then, then I've really missed the mark. But this has got to be Carl Snyder's work, and he's done a great job here. So we're just going to pop over to some other uh, desktops so you can just kind of quickly take a look. You know, nicely done. And this is stuff, you know, very original work, stuff that you just... You know, you're not just going to go to the web and pull this stuff down. So, Carl, if you're listening, brother, great job. And uh, now, one thing I will say, you've got to be into gray and red and that kind of thing. If you're not, then you'll need to do some theming on your own and find some different colors. Um, you know, I think personally, this, you know, this, uh, this bull, it's not bullseye, but this scope, mark here and everything looks pretty cool with the grays and everything. I think it's just a nice clean look. So um, plenty of flexibility here within XFCE and I, <laughs> I, think, I think Jody's ultimate goal was to make XFCE look as modern and as cool as possible. You know XFCE gets a bad rap especially from my friend Rocco who says it looks like it's from 1994 and I've got to admit if you don't work with it like they have here in the theming department it can look rather dated. But uh, again, excellent job here. Let's go over into settings. And I want to go, I want to make sure I'm not missing something here. Settings editor, session and startup. What was I going after, folks? What was I going after? Uh, you've got preferred application, so you can set that up. Revenge, oh, yes. The Revenge Live USB creator is in place there. I missed that earlier. I knew I was missing something. So this is basically a live USB tool so you could create, you know, you take your flash drive and, and create a bootable uh, flash drive from an ISO. So that's all, all there and set up and ready. Overall, again, thrilled with it. I'm going to have to put KDE on here and kind of take a look at that and see what that is like out of the box. 
you know, the, our biggest problem in the Linux community, I think, I'm of the opinion our biggest problem is we have such a great selection of operating systems to choose from. But, you know, I love Arch Labs. I love Interagos. I love OS or Revenge OS. So, you know, again, you can't run them all, but I love sharing this. And, uh, you know, to each his own. There's going to be... There's going to be things within each distro that just fits your needs and works for you. I highly recommend that you give Revenge OS a try. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. I've gone on long and kind of rambled on, but uh, give it a shot. Give it a try. Let me know what you think in the notes. And uh, it's good to be back on uh, Talking Linux with you. Thanks for watching.